Hey everyone, it's Kyle here from Too Much Bricks, and welcome back. So, today is an update on my Avengers Endgame mock, or Lego Avengers Endgame mock. Um, a couple of you who have been following my channel for a while remember this, and I've been doing a lot of work on it, so I, I want to just share that with you guys. For those of you who are new, I'm going to give you all like a tour of it again to some stuff that I've changed and an overall view of it. Um, if, for those of you who have been following my channel the last couple of days, have watched my collabs with my cousin Anthony the Lego Man, definitely go subscribe to him. Those collabs are now over, sadly. Not forever. We'll definitely be getting back. It was really fun to do some collabs with him. So definitely make sure you subscribe. Drop a like if you haven't. Stick around for the end of this video for our mock tip. If you guys are new, I do those on every couple of videos. Today's mock tip is going to how to build a cool security camera. Without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so here is the Avengers Endgame mock. Um, this has been a while um, in progress, definitely. I've worked on this a lot. I've put a lot of destruction in, taken destruction out. I've got a couple of comments saying there's too much, too little. Uh, I feel like I personally have balanced it. <laughs> Perfectly balanced. Um, let just give you a nice little walkthrough of it all. Um, for those of you who have followed all of my updates, you will know... I'm definitely planning on putting in the figures, maybe even the sets of the new Avengers Endgame Wave. Um, we've got the Hulk helicopter drop revealed. So um, that red Stark gauntlet will definitely be going on my Thanos over here. Been trying to get another one of his uh, swords from the Ultimate Battle of Infinity War. Right now I just have these two to represent his double-edged one. And here's just a whole view of the whole thing. And this is definitely something that I'm going to be switching out, which is my custom pepper pots and her rescue armor. The one that we got revealed looks awesome, and I'll definitely be switching her out. Alright guys, so I'm over here in the area where I've had some stuff improved, and sorry if the camera's a little fuzzy, but it should focus. So the actual main focus of this area that I've improved is the Captain America and Thor fight scene. This will focus... There we go. And what I did here is I still have Thor um, slashing an Outrider, but I changed Cap over here to look a little bit more epic. So let me know what you guys think of this. So I put some more dirt here, and as you can see from him wielding Mjolnir as an iconic scene I absolutely have to put in, I have him electrocuting all the way up to the Outrider, so definitely like that scene. It's just a cool little thing I wanted to integrate. I went through a lot of um, decisions and uh, different takes on it, on how I wanted it to look. I really didn't want to have it directly. Um, for some reason, I wanted it to, if you can see, it's a little bit curved and it's going through the ground. I, I really kind of like that effect. I just used regular lightsaber blades and actual power blast pieces. You can see a colored droid arm coming down from Mjolnir, so it actually looks like the lightning is coming from it. I couldn't really have it directly from the hammer head. It's integrated into the rubble on the ground a little bit. And yeah, so it's just the subtle little tiny details and changes that I like to do to this mock. And um, nothing really major has happened since the last couple of updates. For again, those of you who are new, definitely go check those updates out. And yeah, so that really completes it for this um, endgame mock uh, tour and update. I definitely plan on doing a lot more on it, such as um, maybe improving that compound, because I know that set wasn't really um, that good. Um, I definitely want to make this just so much better, raise up some terrain more. I also want to um, just improve it so you guys like it, and I definitely want you to leave in the comment section down below. Um, what you think should be improved and added, like I said, I'll be adding some of the new sets. Definitely figures. I don't know about sets because, as you can see, this is kind of actually a little bit crowded. Um, I could expand if I really wanted to over to this side. You can't really see it in the camera frame is my Far From Home mock, but that can easily be taken out. Um, I, I really do like that mock. If you guys haven't seen my review and update on that, definitely go check that out. But um, I could um, take that out and expand this, so I could put like more terrain and battles room or more scene um, into it. But anything you guys want, just leave down in the comment section down below, and I'll try to do it for you. If I can't, it's just because either I don't have the parts, 
uh, or um, I just don't think it's possible just for me personally. It's definitely not because I don't want to do it, but just want to let you guys know that. And yeah, so that really completes it for this little tour. All right, guys, so as promised, here are all the parts you will need to build this uh, mock tip of a security camera. Uh, as I said, a couple of you who have been following my collabs I've been doing, you may remember this from my 10-piece um, challenge I did with my cousin Anthony the Lego Man. If you guys haven't seen that, definitely go check that out. It was really, really fun. But I didn't actually explain how to actually build it in that video, and I liked it so much I think it could be used as a mock tip. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to build it. All right, guys, so the first thing you're going to do is take these um, bricks here, as you can see, with the technic, or not really technic, but pinholes in them. And you're actually going to want to take two red studs. The studs does not matter. doesn't matter what color these studs are. Stack them on top of each other, whatever color you've chosen, and just squish them in the middle of both of these bricks with holes in them. It's just going to look just like that. I'll put it on the ground so you can see it. So it's really just that simple. You want to take your little key code or one by one tile here. Um, I just used a printed one, and you could stick that on the bottom for some extra detailing if you want. Next, you're going to want to take your three tiles that I showed you in the beginning. You're just going to want to tile it all around so you hide those studs, snap that on. You want to snap them all the way around. So it looks like that. Still got some openings on the side there, so you're going to tile it like that. And I really like the corners and how it looks, so it's going to end up looking like that. Have that back in there and that little peg. Then you're going to want to take this side of it and your other red stud and stick that so it looks like it's rolling. It's got the actual like um, light there. Then you want to take your peg here and you're just going to stick it and the last pin hole that is not covered by your tile. So your tile is up front, you're gonna stick it right there. And so as a whole, pretty cool. So that was the interesting way I thought of how to build a security camera. So on that peg, you can actually like angle it, turn it, clip it onto buildings or maybe even cars. I'll just straighten that tile out for you guys. And yeah, so it's really just as simple as that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Definitely leave in the comment section down below uh, what other mock tips you think I should do. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this helpful. Um, definitely stick around for more videos like this. If you guys are not uh, familiar with my schedule, the next upload I will make will be on Friday at the time of recording of this video. It is Sunday, September 22nd. So definitely stick around for those. Also, thank you guys so much for 50 subscribers. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd get this far, but you guys have been so kind. So thank you for all your support. Um, I know my cousin's been a major part of it, but I definitely want to say if you guys have been following my channel for a while and remember all the specials I would do for 30 subscriber, 10 subscriber. The reason I'm not haven't made a 50 subscriber special is because when my cousin Anthony the Lego Man reaches 50, which I have no doubt that he will. So definitely go subscribe to him to get him up to 50. We're both going to do our 50 subscriber special together, which is going to be our first live stream. So definitely make sure you stick around for that and go subscribe to him right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you can never have too much bricks. Keep building, you guys.